breaks. We have over 2,000 of them in the UK, and one man is on a mission to prove they're the best bakery in Britain. Yeah, that's me. Hey. Today, I'll be comparing 10 Greg's menu items to their rival bakery equivalents. For example, take this Greg's Bakery cookie and compare it to the Sainsbury's cookie. Bit of a size difference there. Sizes and everything. It is sort of important, isn't it? it is. We won't go down that route. But anyway, let's get on with this. This is the Greg's cookie. Oh, wow. The arse end of it looks quite good. It's lovely thickness. It holds itself well. Great posture. It's actually making me a bit emotional, you know. That's what a cookie should be. A cookie should make you want to die. Brilliant cookie. Would recommend. Now moving on to the Sainsbury's cookie. A lot gooier, a lot doughier. Perhaps it's undercooked, I don't know. Wait, this might actually be undercooked. Oh my word, look, look, look. No, 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 no. It's raw in the middle. You can squish it. Ah, it's raw. For me, this is a solid 4.2 out of 10. The Greg's cookie, however, I'm saying this is a solid 7.5. So Greg's wins this round. On to the next one. Right up next, I'm reviewing a jam donut. Uh, I do have a bit of uh, some, some protesting going on over there while reviewing my jam donut. I don't know what's going on. We see a lot of shouting, a lot of police. Anyway, let's review the jam donut. Greg's donut. That's abysmal. Internally, not enough jam going on. Isn't there meant to be a protest here? Why was it up there? I think that's it up there, yeah. I've also got a donut from a local dependent bakery. Car party with a K, I don't know. I don't know what it is, never heard of it. It's all bread. It's still all bread. Hmm. Third bite. I finally found it. What a disgrace. Nazi scum off our streets. Nazi scum off our streets. This tastes quite nice, this actually the jam. This jam's better than the other jam. There's just way too much donut. There are many, many, many more. Many, many more. Many, many more of us than you. I've been back at school. It's a 6.7. I think the Greg's donut, I'm saying a 7.1. I kind of want to know what that process is all about. I might go have a little look, see what's going on. What's the process about? It's all on the signs, really, so it's, it's kind of like immigration and refugees and things. Oh, right. It's like another, it's like another side to it so as well? There's, there's two sides to it, yeah. You, have you come to take part? I mean, no, I just came to review some bakeries. Oh, right. I've been looking at some Greg's in the area, just tasting them and stuff. Just turn this going on. Oh, come on. Oh. Greg's is lovely, lovely, yeah. I had a sausage roll, had a jam donut, just reviewing them all now. I don't understand. What? Well, I'm just Greg, I'm doing a tour. Greg's, uh... Yeah, no, I'm comparing bakeries. Right, I see. So I've compared Greg's bakery to some of the local bakeries. Very good. Fair enough. So just thought I'd pop along, see what's going on. Yeah, anyway, we've got Saturday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have a good one. Anyway, back to the reviews. What's going on? Why is Bargain on, on TV? <laughs> In the middle of the centre, just barking on, on TV. What's going on? This is the Pret triple chocolate cookie. A sort of chewy, bit gooey, but actually tasteless. You can't really taste the chocolate, and yet it's a triple chocolate cookie. Now onto Greg's. Mm. Let's do that. That is incredible. Slight crunch, slight gooiness, slight chewiness. Oh my word. That is a 9.1. Greg's, you've smashed that. Pret, on the other hand. This is a 6.3. That's really average. Greg's wins again. All like biases aside, I was genuinely expecting Greg's to obviously not be as good as some of these. So far, it's as good, if not better. I'm impressed. I don't usually get this many police at football matches. This is quite impressive, really. I might have to start reviewing protests at this rate, because this is quite an atmosphere. I can see some British flags. It's basically just middle-aged blokes, as you'd expect. And they're now playing the song Rule Britannia. <laughs> right, this next one's an impossible. We have a Greg's chocolate eclair versus the patisserie valerie coffee eclair couldn't get a chocolate one we ran out four pound 95. the greg's one is like one pound whatever you might be paying for the, the way that the box opens up like something out of harry potter wow okay this one on the other hand it's upside down just tastes of air the chocolate's lovely cream fantastic the eclair itself non-existent i was expecting like a, a tsunami of filth just tastes of chocolate 6.2 want a patisserie valerie right here we go is that it? For £4.95, I was expecting that to change my life. It hasn't. It's made me feel like a fat pig. 5.1. Greg's wins it on that one again. Right, next we've got the Greg's sausage roll versus the Pound Bakery sausage roll. Both pretty greasy. Soft inside. Actually quite mushy inside. Tasty mush. Very impressed with that Greg's sausage roll. Succulent, tasty, mushy, hot. Now onto the Pound Bakery. Never had one of their sausage rolls before. 
Oh wow. First of all, it's not warm. Not cold, but not warm either. Not as much sausage in the middle. By all metrics, that is a worse sausage roll. That's a 5.4. The Greg sausage roll, however, more meat, better pastry. Yeah, okay, it's a bit greasy, obviously. But that's a 7.7. Is somebody pissed next to the seat? Is that urine? Bit of culture. Right, let's do the final five right here, right now. Right, first we've got the Greg's pan of chocolate versus the Starbucks pan of chocolate. Quick fire round. Greg's one going first. If you really open it up into its barrels, you can see there's barely any chocolate in there. That for me, 6.4, does the job, just not very well. Now to the Starbucks one. Oh wow. I was expecting this one to be better. This one's dry. This one's so dry. It's like this has got amnesia and it's forgotten what it's supposed to be. Do you know what I mean? Like you're supposed to be light and fluffy in the middle. It's like sand in there. Like you can't even open it up. It's like tissue paper on top. It's a 3.7, right? It's got 3.7 written all over it. Right, this next one, I don't really understand the point of it existing. Uh, no, it's not Prince Andrew, it's a glazed donut. That's a McDonald's glazed donut and that's a Greg's glazed donut. Jesus. Appetising that, isn't it? I mean, it just looks like it needs to moisturise a little bit, doesn't it? It's got quite flaky skin. Do you know what? It's soft. It's not offensive. People say that, don't they, when they're reviewing food. Not offensive. What does that mean? It's soft and sugary. The end. Now for the McDonald's donut. That's someone that knows what it wants to be. It's happy, it's comfortable in its appearance, it doesn't have any insecurities, and yeah, I don't feel like it tastes as good. It doesn't have a personality. It's one of those people that, that look good, but you dig a bit deeper in the very surface level. That's what that is, it's a surface level donut. Whereas the Greg's one, ugly, ugly, has a personality. Come to think of it, it does look like me in year nine. Do you know what, that Greg's donut's actually quite nice. Greg's 7.4, McDonald's 5.9. Right onto the croissant. It's a Greg's croissant, and here we have a Tesco's croissant from their bakery. Let's dig into the Greg's one first. I don't know what's going on under there. Flat, it's a flat croissant. You can bend it in half. See, it's like Play-Doh. Oh my God, look at it. It's like Play-Doh. Okay, it's soft, it's sucked it melts in the mouth. It knows what it wants to be, but it hasn't quite got there yet. It's like a 13-year-old teenager. They know what they want to look like, but they haven't quite got the dress sense right. They want to look like Shawn Mendes, but still wearing flip-flops. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's a little bit like that. The Tesco's one, however, it knows what it wants to be. It's got a little quiff. It knows it wants to be the next Elvis. Does it perform, though? Wow. I was expecting this one to be dry, based on the outside. Quite dry, quite crumbly. Ooh, that's good. Now crumble on that. Wow, that is a pigeon's wet dream. Look at the crumble on it, the flakiness. You need to wear a bib, really. This is the closest we've had so far. But there is a winner. Greg's croissant, 7.9. Tesco's croissant, 8.3. <sighs> Damn, that's good. That's the first time Greg's has lost out on something. And to be fair, it's not a bad croissant. Okay, up next we have the Greg's muffin versus the Costa coffee muffin. I mean, look at that. That looks like it's had a tough paper round. Whereas this has never had a job in its life. It's like me. Okay, Greg's muffin has opened itself up to me already. We've only just met. It's not super dry, but it's claggy. It's like cement in my mouth. Okay, it does have a little bit of a chocolate sauce type thing in the middle, but not much. Yeah, it's got some chocolate sauce in, which gives it some moisture, but it's still very claggy. Let's have a look at the Costa Coffee muffin. Nicely presented, opens up like a flower, and then just pluck it out. Hmm, got a little bit of chocolate sauce type thing in there, but not much. This reminds me of the chocolate cake I once got as a kid. I was at a mate's birthday party, and they give you like party bags at the end. I remember I had a piece of, just, a piece of chocolate cake, and a spider came out of it. A spider came out of my chocolate cake. It reminds me of this exact chocolate cake, even though this is a muffin. Again, claggy. It sits in the gullet. This one's a tough call, because they're both very... Yeah, I mean, I don't know what that means. Costa coffee, I'm going to give this 5.9. Greg's, on the basis that yours has more chocolate, in the center, gonna give this a six. Greg's wins again. My arteries lose again. I'd actually quite like to die from one of these videos at some point. I'm definitely on track. Right next up we have the Greg's Caramel Shortbreads versus the Cafe Nero Caramel Shortbreads. Okay, let's see what Greg's has got to offer. Hmm, crumbled quite a lot underneath there. Not really getting a lot of chocolate coming through. A lot of caramel there though. It tastes fine. It kind of looks like it's bored. Bored of being caramel shortbread. Just looks like it's sick of life really, doesn't it? It's fine, it's passable, but it's nothing to write home about. You'd never mention this, you know, if you had a pen pal, you'd never mention that you'd eaten one of these in the day. Wouldn't be worth talking about. Now for the Cafe Nero one, the caramel's just begging to, to come out of the side there. Oh dear. That shortbread's really tight it's keeping itself together kind of a little bit like a middle-aged man who doesn't want to open up you can't really get through to its emotions the caramel's tasty quite strong tasting caramel almost coffee flavored getting notes of coffee i feel like the cafe near one's got a stronger taste it lingers like, there's a lot of flavors that have been invited to the party there but they've also hung around for the after party and i kind of respect that it's a 7.9 greg's caramel shortbread it's a close call but ultimately it's a 7.6 
So if my math is correct, Greg's won 8 out of 10 of those rounds. Pretty good going. Basically, to summarise, Greg's is the best burger in the country, definitively. Don't bother buying most of this stuff. It's all crap for you. Don't bother with it, especially the fancy stuff. It's overpriced. It's not that great. If you want to treat yourself, get a Greg's triple chocolate cookie or go to Tesco's and get yourself a croissant. Job done. See you later. Bye.